Nellie, you all right? Uh, excuse the uh, the wobbliness. I'm actually just passing through the gardens of uh, Castle Howard. Spend a bit more money on your road, guys. So obviously in Yorkshire, land of the gods. And I'm heading up to uh, Rugged Woods to meet Craig, who's invited me up there very kindly. And um, he's going to be showing me different tarp configurations. So I've brought along two different size tarps. And then I've also got some pre-cooked casserole, which is really nice. And a zebra billy can to warm that up over the fire. But to warm it up over the fire, I need to devise some type of pot hanger. Um, so that's something else that I'm going to be doing today. So if either of those two things interest you, stay tuned. Excuse the wobbly cam. Like the Yorkshire flag. That's all Laidlaw's junk. That's how he's rolling. Scruffy cat. Here's Craig. Hi everybody. Go through my paperwork. Yeah, important stuff. Um, this has changed dramatically. Lashing. With sizal. Now I can use that to say, BE GONE EVIL ONE! So we're heading over to the uh, water, we're going to soak this and then we're just going to leave it to one side. Craig asked a very good question, which was, does it always stay tight uh, once it's been uh, soaked? And I don't know, so we're going to uh, find that out. Um, I didn't film this beautiful construction. Craig thinks I've done the wrong thing there. Um, if anybody feels that they've been missold by this magically appearing instead of being shown yeah you can't comment and say me then put a comment underneath and uh, I'll put some I'll put some lashing instructions together and maybe actually build something if you want all right so I'm just gonna dunk this in here now hopefully not dunk myself One of my few claims to fame. As a Boy Scout, I uh, used to build rafts and entered a, uh, a race called the Contiki Raft Race. And my particular scout group won uh, a few years in a row. And one of those particular years uh, at Pizone Park in Scarborough, in fact, had even had the Venture Scouts in it. And bearing in mind, I'd have probably been 13, 12, 13 years old at the time and we still won them through our superior lashing and rafting design yeah interesting to see how this turns out what we want is it to be nice and tight you can imagine building any type of frame out of that very useful I've been talked into this right we're going to lash this beam to this tree using sizzle. So I'm going to start off with a nice relatively simple knot even though it took me how many attempts? Four. Okay. <laughs> so that is the start of it. And all this really needs to do is get as close to the major beam as possible. We just come down under here so what we're doing is we're actually using that as a little choke, a little pinch point, because I'm going to be pulling away from that, and that is as safe as ours is. Because this is actually, is it a tree fort? This is a lookout tower. A lookout tower is what this is, just in case you're wondering. And it's built by, is it the rangers, the rugged rangers? The rugged rangers. Now in hindsight, I should have probably tied all this size up to be a ball. So, uh, it could be here for quite some time. It's green from blank. Yeah, it does do. Right. It's a GoPro energy saving. 
Remember all the problems I had sure I'll get the last year with the GoPro and the cold. So I've got a couple of ideas to try and make it last through these cold nights as I go off into the wilderness. Because I don't like central eating, do I, Craig? Nope. Now this lashing, Steve, can be used for all sorts of applications, can't it? Yeah. Making um, ladders and... Rafts. Rafts, yeah. Um, shelters. Yeah, the, the applications are quite quite large. And I think what I'm going to do is actually make a nice neat ball here because I'm getting tangled up. But it's not looking very professional. Once it lands on those pine twigs, they get stuck in there and that's it. So the, the river over there would be a perfect place to lash something together. Absolutely. Um, obviously inflatable vests and uh, crash helmets will be worn. And suitable adults will also be in the shin high water <laughs> to guide the little adventurers. Time myself up. Because this is really quite fibrous string, isn't it? Yeah, um, but because of its natural ruggedness, I think it actually binds to the to its absolutely know, earlier lashed parts, giving it that sort of extra, you know, friction. Yeah, which is what you know lashing's all about, really. Absolutely. Try and keep the the root of the lashing nice and uniform that's just maybe me being a bit OCD but that's how I was taught and as I'm trying to pass on any skill that I may have come away with from my youth I'd appreciate it if anybody giving it a go would try and make it as neat and as tidy Tension is a big part of it. As this goes through the, the winter months, it's going to see a lot of water. So the sizal rope itself, string, whatever you want to describe it as, actually shrinks when it's wet. So this, over time, will become tighter and tighter. Really is good stuff. Unless, of course, the ingredients have changed since I was a Boy Scout, but only time will tell. Well, last week? Yeah. <coughs> so there's uh, quite a lot of places in, the, in Craig's Wood at the moment where you can see where lashing has been done. And, you know, when you're trying to build something natural and you don't want to use carpentry for whatever reasons it's got to be done quickly having this skill set is quite important really it's a must do you want to know that another really important skill set go for it natural cordage yeah, how yeah. to make natural cordage that is another lesson that i hope to learn off you at some point my yep it's very therapeutic. Didn't you say nettles? Yep, absolutely. Do I get the fun job of picking all the nettles? Oh, of course. Thanks, mate. We'll give you some gloves, though. Maybe. <laughs> Depends on how good I'm I've got to say, that stew really was nice. That work out all right for you, mate. Oh, yeah. Firm believe that no matter who you are and what you're teaching me, but I'll never take anything without being grateful. And Craig has never asked me for anything other than my company. So to bring him a little bit of food, I think is the least I can do. It certainly goes down well. Because <laughs> I, uh, I always learn. Always, always, always. And this is a skill that... 
I've had since I was in the eye to a grasshopper. And we used it for what was called then pioneering. And we used to use things called pioneering poles, which was very straight tree branches. And we would make any manner of things. Rafts, for example. Uh, places to hang pots over the top of fires. All sorts of stuff. Lots of skills there that have been lost. The scouts not teach that kind of thing nowadays. You know something, it all depends on um, the, leaders. The, the leaders, yeah. If they have the knowledge to do that, then they'll do it. Yeah, um, so it's, not like, it's not like a, a, a set curriculum, is it? It's a case of whatever skill set you've got with the volunteers that are going to lead these kids. And that's what the kids are going to learn from. Yeah. I mean, the good thing about the Scouts is that they've got so many different badges that the kids can go for that, you know, any Scout leader or cub or beaver can, can teach quite easily. It's common sense. A lot of it is written down for them. Yeah. A lot of it's passed down from leader to leader. Um, but it's these basic skills that um, a lot of them really do not know. Well, I mean, this is one of the reasons that we're actually doing this, isn't it? So yeah. we can say we. So Craig's uh, pupils, they may have been, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but, and it isn't being disrespectful, but the way that, like, that piece has been tied on there by an eight-year-old, I remember when I was a Boy Scout, it would be similar to this. I would be a bit older, but, I mean, Craig's nodding, and, and, and I know that I'm being a... It should be like this. No, no, exactly it should. Exactly it should. Do you hear that? It's dead funny. I said to one of the kids the other day when we were building this, this stuff is indestructible. And I pulled on it and it snapped. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. it's tough stuff. Well, it could be that it's been caught by a knife or something quite easily. So, you may have noticed whilst I was come over. fiddling about there, what I've actually done, you put all your attention onto that little yeah. point there, and that, if you just put your finger on it, the tension remains. So, whilst you. Have you got the right one? Is that one you want? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. So now Craig's got all that tension that I've been working hard to put in there. So now I've got it again. And all this now is as tight as a drum. When it gets wet, it will get tighter. And I'm very confident that that will hold, hold the weight of the Me. branches, the trees. Me? Yeah, I dare say we could construct something yeah. that would uh, be suitable for adults. Well, Tracy's been up there with four kids. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I mean, you look at how the uh, the pioneers, when they were, you know, finding these routes across America, Canada. Mm. <clears throat> these are the skills. Not just your bushcrafty stuff. Pioneering. Navigating. Mm -hmm. I'm really thinking I want to do a, a fast, a fast motion part through this six hour long section <laughs> of uh, Stephen's talking rubbish whilst he's tying two bits of tree together. Did you get that? Yep. That's going to go nowhere, that is it. Not on my way. Absolutely spot on that.
beautiful. A work of art even. Give it a good tug. Whoa, get in there. I don't, I don't, this is me being OCD and I like that to look more like this. Right. But that's purely me just... I mean, where... You've got to watch. Once you've done something like this and something that's going to be used for a couple of years, you've got to watch for free. Yeah. Um, but there's ways around that. You could perhaps put vertical beams up so that you're going to avoid or move them in a way that they're not going to go near that. Yeah. You know, that's 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 a short, that's an easy way. I mean, how long's that been? Five minutes or so? Something like that, yeah. The video will say it's probably 15. But that's a quickish way of putting that up. And again, it's a skill that can be used for a multiple type of um, activities. I mean, it's just, you know, even in the workplace, at some time or other, someone's going to have to do some kind of lashing. Yeah. Unless you work with computers, of course. Yeah, well that is a different topic altogether. Yeah, then you might want to lash your boss because he's getting on your nerves, but never mind. But that's spot on, Stephen, that. Lashing. Thank you.